So recently at the Hasbro Pulse Premium 1027 event, we had a ton of news come out about the upcoming Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 30th Anniversary Special. I'm super hyped for this thing, like really, really hyped for this. It's just so interesting to see something like pretty new for Power Rangers. Like it almost feels like, especially with like recent like Hurricane Ranger and Opera Ranger 20 years after film news on my mind, it almost feels like we're getting like our very first Power Rangers Returns movie kind of thing. This is really awesome. So we, what we can kind of tell, we seemingly have what's probably the whole cast returning for this, uh, with the announcements that happened at the event. Now, obviously that event was a couple of weeks ago. It was a little bit more than two weeks ago. So this is pretty old news, but we do have some relatively like new news uh, coming from the Illuminati and like reliable leakers such as Jin Saku to kind of talk about here. So let's go ahead and talk about everything that we've learned recently about the upcoming MMPR 30th anniversary special. So before we fully dive into that, which of course is going to be the main topic of today's video, uh, there was something else at the 1027 event that I do want to just briefly discuss, and that is Cosmic Fury Blue. So we actually had the suit reveal for the Cosmic Fury Blue Ranger, and it was really cool to see Kai Moya, uh, Ollie's actor himself, reveal it, and he kind of apologized that he wasn't able to make it to PulseCon, uh, which is when they revealed the you know green and gold ranger suits we talked about last month. So we got to see his suit this time, and I mean, it's pretty much exactly what you would expect it to look like. They've added kind of these, it almost looks sort of like not sideburns but like these like are they called chops or whatever like, like facial hair would be uh for like the gold detailing on the helmet which i think works i like the blaster i think he called it like a stego blaster or something like that and i do definitely like it the only thing is is that i thought it always would have been kind of neat and it doesn't seem like they're going to do it obviously uh, but some people were speculating that maybe uh, with these original weapons that they would actually make physical like prop like versions of those accessories that were included with the basic figures of red blue and pink back during the first season of Dino Fury, so like that saber and like that weird mace thing and the two like size obviously they're not doing that i think that would have been kind of neat uh, they actually have kind of made the size into like sort of a like role play item uh, with some like i think it's the german magazine for Dino Fury or something like that uh, it was posted on twitter that like one of the packing items was actually kind of a toy of that which is pretty cool uh, but like i said i do like this blaster a lot it kind of has uh, these kind of effects at the end of these kind of arrow blast effects that i could think would maybe be nice for uh, like a nerf gun or something if they were going to make stuff out of that it's still very uncertain exactly when cosmic fury stuff is going to hit i keep plugging this video once again and i'm going to do it here again about dino fury's third year of toys because just expect that we're probably getting more dino fury stuff toy wise at the beginning of 2023 before we fully dive into cosmic fury stuff but it's really cool. They've been filming it for a couple of weeks at this point. I think it's supposed to wrap filming before the end of the year, and we should probably be getting it, I would assume, sometime in the summer of 2023. But what we're getting before Cosmic Fury and what has already filmed is the 30th anniversary special for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Now, what's also interesting is that I don't think we actually have like an official title for this thing yet. I would love to know what that would actually be called. It could just be the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 30th anniversary special. It definitely could be that. But like, I still cannot wrap my head around how cool it is that we are getting not one, but two Power Rangers productions in the same year. Uh, the last time we really had something like this to a similar scale was like 2017, I guess, with like the 2017 movie in Ninja Steel, or maybe like 2018 with Super Ninja Steel and Hyperforce. So maybe something kind of like that, but it's just so rare uh, that we see Power Rangers kind of take the, not Sentai approach specifically, where like we have movies coming out all the time, or like Rider that has like specials here or there every single month, it seems. Uh, but it's just really cool to have two Power Rangers things to look forward to, and not just like a typical season of episodes. Um, so I like that kind of trend that we have going on here, or the, the start of this uh, new kind of era for the franchise. And I think the 30th anniversary celebration is off to a pretty good start. Uh, we've already talked about a couple cool things here on the channel, uh, like those Walmart figures that were kind of 30th anniversary branded with the logo. And of course we talked about the cast reveals and stuff like that from PulseCon, but I was not expecting this photo to be shown off during 1027, which seemingly confirms the entire returning cast for the special. So back at the original PulseCon reveal, they had already shot off that video that had David Yost and Walter Jones officially confirming their returns as Billy and Zack. Now we had some reliable leakers out there like Jin Saku and we had some other circumstantial evidence uh, to suggest the idea that Steve Cardenas was going to be returning as Rocky and that Catherine Sutherland was going to be returning as Cat. And that was officially confirmed by Hasbro at 1027 so we can re you know set those rumors to rest. But what was really cool and what I did not see coming at all was that Hasbro was able to officially reveal that Karen Ashley is returning as Aisha and Johnny Yon Bosch himself is returning as Adam, which is so, 
so awesome. So we haven't seen Kira and Ashley back in the franchise since Money Morphin Season 3, since, you know, Aisha left during the Zeo quest, so it's definitely been a very long time. Uh, we've seen Adam, we've seen Rocky, we've seen Cat since then. Uh, we saw Cat during Dimensions in Danger. It's already been nearly 15 years in Rocky there, too. It's almost been 15 years already since we've seen Adam in Operation Overdrive, so I think that that is super, super cool that we're getting them back. It's really cool. Like, it's a, it's a really cool cast of Money Morphin characters. Of course, I'm sure original plans were to get some other cast members back, but like I've mentioned before, uh, certain real world events are kind of making that a little bit difficult. And regardless, we just had Jason back for Beast Morphers not that long ago. He is the most recent Mighty Morphin returning cast member that we've had on the show before this. So it would be kind of not as special if he returned again. Tommy's come back a bajillion times. I love Tommy. He's one of my favorite Power Rangers characters. JC David Frank is a person, but like, it's one of those things where it's just... I think it's cool that we're focusing on kind of not the secondary Mighty Morphin cast, but like it's not the Red Ranger, the main one. It's not the Green Ranger, the White Ranger. It's the rest of the team, and it really makes it feel like an actual bigger celebration of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and not just Jason or Tommy, you know, something like that, uh, which is really, really cool. And the fact that it worked out just with scheduling and, you know, actors who haven't committed crimes potentially uh, to actually come together and make a full team of Power Rangers here because we have a Red Ranger, we have both Black Rangers, we have a Yellow Ranger, we have a Pink Ranger, we have a Blue Ranger, and that's really, really cool here. And this photo is just... It's so fun, right? Like, look at this photo. Uh, people have been speculating, like, for crazy. Uh, like, we see a new viewing globe back there, potentially. Is this, like, on a spaceship? Is this connect? We still don't really know exactly how much this special is connected to Cosmic Fury. Based off of some rumors we're going to talk about here in a minute, it does seem like, and also due to the fact that they've filmed this before the show, it does seem like they're going to be having the special air before Cosmic Fury. Now, the Mighty Morphin cast has already left New Zealand, and they've already finished the production of this, but there was some overlap between the Cosmic Fury team and Mighty Morphin team. Uh, we actually did get to see them, kind of some pictures of them, in the same place at the same time, so that does point to some kind of thing of either the Dino Fury or Cosmic Fury cast might appear in the 30th special, or probably more likely some of the Mighty Morphin actors are sticking around, or, or did stick around, for a little bit of Cosmic Fury. I know Illuminarity put out a really, really good article, uh, which is kind of what I'm basing this video off of here, in a way, uh, which I'll be linking in the description below, that talks about how when they initially reported David Yost returning back this past April, because they were able to break that exclusive months in advance, uh, that it was expected that he would be in Cosmic Fury, and I, they haven't really, like, rescinded that, so I believe that it's possible that Billy might be back uh, for Cosmic Fury. It could be possible that, like, maybe... Zack and Billy are going to be in Cosmic Fury, and that's why they revealed them first, and the rest are just here for the 30th anniversary special or something like that. Uh, but, you know, lots of really unanswered questions, but that's really exciting. There's just a lot of really cool things uh, that I just cannot wait to see what's going to happen with this. Now, Illuminarity is still currently reporting that this is going to be possibly a 44 minute special which i think would be really cool i would not be surprised if we don't really get power injuries like throughout of it but i don't really need that i feel like i this is a cool opportunity and probably one of the last opportunities uh, for us to actually see the characters from mighty morphin and while mighty morphin is so so oversaturated uh this and <laughs> this popped in my head about that this past week i'm going to talk about those figures they're going to get their own dedicated video because I think they look absolutely atrocious, but Mighty Morphin is all over the place. And so, you know, it's the fact that I'm actually genuinely excited for this, because it's different, you know, it's, in a way, it's going to be original footage, it's going to be characters we haven't seen in a very long time, and I always like when we get the characters back. I just am kind of tired of just Mighty Morphin in general, but when we do something kind of fun with that, especially with the next thing I'm going to talk about, I'm all here for it. And speaking of the new thing to talk about here, the rumors of Trini's daughter being in season 30 or actually being in the 30th anniversary special have been confirmed as we have our casting for Min, played by Charlie Kirsch, which is really, really cool. This was the rumored casting for her. Uh, you know, it was already found by the fandom investigators who do all the casting stuff. You know, I leave it to them. I take toys. Everybody else does with show, casting, movie kind of stuff. So we'd already known that she was likely cast as Trini's daughter. It just wasn't 100% sure if those rumors that Illuminati had talked about in the past at some point were going to still be the plan because I know some things probably got changed once again because of real world events. <laughs> but still, I think that's really, really cool. So it's, I think, really neat to like honor Trini's character. I don't know if they're going to have Trini the character have passed away, but I think it is a really cool way to honor Tui Train's memory uh, for the unfortunate passing of her, uh, you know, being like the only Mighty Morphin cast member who couldn't come back for this kind of thing. Uh, I think this is a really neat way to celebrate it. And also it's a cool way uh, to just have some main focus of this special be on the Yellow Ranger, which is something you wouldn't necessarily expect and you would expect it to be like on the Red Ranger or the Green Ranger, but it's one of those cool 
little changes of pace here that I think is really, really neat. So I can't wait to see uh, what she has to offer to the franchise. If she gets a new special suit or something like that, or you know, if she's just gonna be Mighty Morphin Yellow, I think it's gonna be really cool to see what they do with this. Also in this picture, we have Alpha. Really, really cool. Uh, you know, they didn't really bring any attention to that on the stream. They just shut off the picture and name dropped all the cast members. So we don't know if we're gonna actually get Alpha 5's original voice actor back. It could be possible, especially because he's already gonna be there anyway, that they could get Campbell Cooley to voice him, which he voiced Alpha during the Once a Ranger special, which I guess was that technically, was that Alpha 5 or was that Alpha 6? That was Alpha 6, right? I know there's an Alpha 7 uh, from Forever Red, that one Alpha that like walks around in the background. The, the cast or the credits name that is Alpha 7, so I never know anymore. I think it'd be really, really cool either way if we get Campbell Cooley to do Alpha, if we get an original, the original voice actor for Alpha back, that'd be really, really cool. Uh, but, you know, I, I can't wait to see what they do with that as well. It's just fun to see him there. And then, of course, we have something I have to talk about here because this was some very, very big really really cool things here so people were freaking out about this image already and then some people were like hold on zoom in on adam's chest there because <laughs> it looks like he's wearing an spd badge and that oh. <laughs> so, oh so that made me super super excited it made me like almost lose my mind here but it's not it's not an spd badge but it's definitely related in some regard so basically jenny on bosch was actually able to uh, sort of debunk this on facebook he said that it's spa now we still don't know what that means but you can look at this like the shape of the badge and everything and like eric trekkie b47 on twitter was freaking out about it because he's like the biggest spd fan that i know and so he was talking about how it's definitely like the same font as spd it's the same kind of style as that badge and we can see in this picture that adam and also aisha are wearing a very similar uniform here so it's unknown what SPA is going to be. Uh, some people are speculating Space Patrol Alpha, uh, maybe because, you know, Alpha's there, and the last time we saw Adam, he was, like, with Alpha. So maybe, like, Alpha, Adam, and Aisha are joining another section of SPD, you know, because you have Space Patrol Delta, which is SPD, and maybe you have Space Patrol Alpha. Some people are also speculating maybe this is Space Patrol Academy, uh, so kind of, like, setting up the events of, of SPD, or kind of, you know, that branch have their academy or something. Regardless, tying this into SPD, SPD, SPA, whatever, <laughs> whatever it may be, uh, two years before SPD is supposed to be, you know, taking place within the canon, uh, because SPD is supposed to have been taking place in 2025, and presumably the special will be taking place in 2023. I love that. If they actually set up SPD in this special, this will be like the greatest scene of Power Rangers like, ever. <laughs> like the fact that we're gonna maybe actually approach that like arbitrary in the future date that I'm sure when they originally created SPD, never thought we would get to 20 years later and the show would still be going. If we get to that point and actually set it up in the show, I love that tremendously. Now you have people talking about the timeline. Does this make any sense? It does make sense. We saw in flashbacks in SPD that they were a thing on Earth as far back as 2001 uh, with the experiments with their parents and everything like that that led to their civilian powers. So SPD absolutely should and still is, I, I would assume, a thing that is already happening in the background. We just haven't had like the full-on setup of like aliens coexisting with Power Rangers and stuff like that, or Power Rangers <laughs> coexisting with humans on Earth, which maybe they could set that up with Cosmic Fury. Maybe aliens come back to Earth or something like that. I mean, it'd be kind of weird to set all that up and it only takes two years to get to like the fully integrated society for the most part that we see in SPD. But if they even do any kind of setup with that, which I never would have expected them to do, I'll take it. Regardless, even if it's not actual setup for SPD's plot and it's just connecting it into that being a thing in the universe, that is also really cool because that is what makes the special and Cosmic Fury just super, super exciting as a Power Rangers fan, is that since we are not necessarily using Sentai footage besides like the Q Ranger mecha for Cosmic Fury and like obviously like Ju Ranger suit designs for Mighty Morphin, they can do whatever they want. They can connect it to older seasons, they can connect it to the comics, they can connect it to anything. They can make up their own new thing going forward that bounces off of this or that starts with this. It's going to be so, so cool. And like, all of the seeds are there for like, what I would say is possibly the best Power Rangers anniversary celebration ever. And I don't want to like jinx that, but like, I don't know, like a lot of the seeds have been sown there for something really, really cool. I just hope that the execution of it can really be pulled off to its like best capacity. Because, like, we have some pretty high bars up there. Forever Red is always going to be one of my favorite pieces of Power Rangers media and Tokusatsu anything in general. I love that episode. Once a Ranger is fantastic. I really like Dimensions in Danger. Legendary Battle is garbage for the most part. But, like, I think that we really have a really cool thing here. And I cannot wait to see what happens with the show, what happens with the cast, what happens with Cosmic Fury. 
what happens with the toys. You know I'm sure they're going to have a lot of really cool toy tie-ins, uh, both probably in like the mainline stuff and of course probably Lightning Collection as well for all of this. But like, I, it, we, we might not even have everything yet. That was a sentence. We might not even have everything announced yet because uh, Amy Jo Johnson was posting this cryptic tweet and she gave this like cryptic response at some convention she was at recently that seems to imply that maybe she's involved in this in some capacity so this could be the full returning cast it might there might still be some surprises up their sleeve but what's also really cool is that the Illuminati article uh, confirms that the re intended release date for this is April so they are expecting the 30th anniversary special to drop on Netflix this upcoming April so likely before Cosmic Fury which would make logical sense there um so if that is the case there then we're only a couple months away less than half of a year away from seeing this and that is going to be super awesome. So I cannot wait. I hope we get like a full trailer for this. I cannot wait to get like the official name of it and everything like that. See some footage from it. Oh, it's going to be so, so exciting. But until next time, I would love to know your guys' thoughts down in the comments below about Cosmic Fury Blues design. I cannot wait to see the rest of the team now that we have presumably half of them. I cannot wait to see the special. What do you think of the returning cast members from Anymorphin Power Rangers? Who do you want to see as the villain of this actually? Uh, because they that, that's kind of been something I haven't really seen people talk about too much is who could the villain of this special be? Uh, Presumably, probably just Zed, who's going to be a villain in Cosmic Fury, but anything you guys want to talk about down in the comments below, what do you think of what they have planned for what we know so far of the Power Rangers 30th anniversary special and celebration in general for next year? Because this is, this is going to be something special, and I can't wait to continue to cover it here on the channel. So until next time, you guys can follow me on Twitter at Ranger Key or at Atlantic PR, and I'll see you all later.